dressing room, no rabbit punch, no headbutt, no low blow. Shaky Reds and good luck. The action is underway. Vitaly Klitschko in his 15th world title fight. How to make the tactics. He's got to be fast, German, he's got to be busy. But you can see straight away, Vitaly means business, right down to that. And that jab is an underrated weapon, always has been. It's powerful, it's awkward and it's difficult to deal with. That's a good right hand, good right hand from Klitschko. And Adamek felt the weight of the big Ukrainians' right hand there in this opening round. And a little bit of quiet around the stadium as they realise now that Adamek has got to soak it up. And that is a little bit of a taste, maybe, of what is to come. Yeah. Klitschko in the corner receiving words of advice from Fritz Sudanek. Vladimir in that corner as well, and there was that right hand, Jim. Yeah, well, twice he brought the right hand into play in the opening round, so that tells you he really means business. He's not messing about. As soon as this one can be over for him, he'll be quite happy to oblige. Second round, and Klitschko not troubled by Adamek as yet. So much the taller man, six foot seven and a half, big reach advantage. So many fighters have said, yep, the way to beat Klitschko, to get inside, to get past that jab, to work the body. But how do you begin to do it? Many have said it, few have succeeded. Yeah, and they haven't realised how difficult it is. I think an added problem from Adamek. In the lower weight, at weight categories, he was never difficult to catch with punches. Klitschko's huge news across Europe. The feature film Klitschko was premiered in Wroclaw this week. Vladimir there doing countless interviews, selling the whole Klitschko story, and that's better from Adamek. Yeah, that's a nice little burst that'll give him a little bit of confidence. But the jab is always in his face. To time to move onwards and upwards. He said he was crazy youth. Right hand again. Oh, good shot. Good shot from Klitschko. Two in the first round and here again in the second. Adamek cannot be eating shots of that sort of power. Yeah, but I think Klitschko just realises that uh, Adamek is simply not big enough for the job. I, don't, I remember seeing him bring the right hand into play so quickly and about before. He's looking at the... Oh, good shot! Good shot from Klitschko! Adamek bravely uses the ropes, comes back off the ropes, and the bell goes to end. A big round for Vitaly Klitschko. And have the eyes cleared, Jim? I don't think so. No, they, they, I think the psychological damage is worse than the physical damage. I don't think Adamek believed anyone could punch as hard as this. He's been in with heavyweights, but he's never been in this deep before. I think psychologically it will be seriously damaged every time the right hand has landed from Klitschko, and that's about four or five times already. He feels it right down to his boots. I think he knows this job is too big for him. It's just a case now. You know, will he go out on his shield? At the age of 40, he is still a massive, intimidating presence. The right hand is quick. Bringing in some cute little uppercuts in close as well, Klitschko. And you can see every time he lands, the power differential is apparent. And there's that little half-step back again as Adamek tries to come forward. He just can't get close enough to do anything effectively. Chopping right hand. See, Adamek is having to take chances to try and get himself into this fight, to try and have a couple of little bits of success. And every time he takes a chance, he's punished for it. The right hand working so well from Klitschko. The jab, keeping him under control. Thumping punches Klitschko's throwing. Oh, impressive again from Klitschko as he attacks the body. Switch to the body with the right hand. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? I know you're saying he's a bit ungainly, and yes, he is, but he's looked very sharp. Good hand speed from Klitschko. 
Yeah, and I'm seeing a little vicious streak in him as well. I mean, the, the, the way he's throwing these right hands straight away from the opening round. He wanted to finish. He'd have been quite happy with a one-round knockout. And he's still going to every punch his mean intentions. And just carried on from there. That's better from Adamek. That's perhaps his best shot so far. A little bit of blood, is there, around the nose of the pole? Yeah, I think there's blood in the mouth as well. Well, he's giving it a go now. Well, it's what we knew was going to happen, Jim. He's, he has got a big fighting heart. Remember that fight against Steve Cunningham? Up and down, Cunningham dishing out the pressure, and somehow Adamek came back. He has got that real warrior instinct. I think the left hook in particular for Adamek has been a good weapon in this round. He's got himself into the fight in this round. I don't think he won the round, but he got himself into things. Certainly Adamek's best round of the fight so far. Yep, I think he got himself into things. Klitschko not quite so dominant. Klitschko breathing with his mouth open. A noticeable drop in the tempo of Klitschko's work. So, 14 years old, OK, he's got himself down to 17 stone 5. But is he feeling the pace? Big effort from Adamek in the last round. Not enough to give him the round on the judges' cards. Big effort, though, and it'll surely have taken a bit out of him. Oh, good punch again, but again, he's walking through it. This is far better, though, from Adamek. We've seen fighters who are punchers who've gone in there and given it a go and wound up getting absolutely battered like Shannon Briggs. He's just standing over Adamek now. That imposing figure, dominating, bullying him, just completely controlling him in this round. There's the jab. And we're seeing nice little feints, too, before he throws the punches. It's back to pattern, isn't it? Adamek hasn't been able to sustain it, and he's eating these punches from range. And these are energy-sapping right hands. He's been asked to take also the solid jabs straight to the face there. These sap the energy from a fighter. Klitschko dominant once again. There's that jab. That is a painful, thumping jab from Klitschko. Now the chants start to reverberate around the stadium once more. Can Adamek draw some inspiration from them? Good round, though, this for Klitschko. Roger Bloodworth is the experienced trainer leaning over the ropes, speaking to Thomas Adamek, but you can see that the face is starting to mark up, his nose battered and bleeding. Who's the better of the two Klitschkos? Well, Vladimir's the boxer. Vitaly, people have always suspected, is the one with the nasty streak. Yep, and that's been on display several times tonight. He's showing patience now. He's probably surprised at a lovely uppercut. He's probably surprised that Adam Egg is still there. You see the legs. Ah, oh, these, these are big punches. These are taking all the energy and out of Adam Egg. And there's not a lot of lateral movement from Adam Egg. And nothing coming back. Oh, good right hand. And is it going to be all over right there, I wonder? Well, the referee's giving the count. He must have decided because his backside hit the ropes that maybe the ropes kept him up because we don't have standing counts. So he must be he's considering that a knockdown, the ropes stopped him from going over. It's only a matter of time now. Vitaly Klitschko. Well, we always thought he was going to be very, very difficult to dislodge. But unless Adamek can find something huge here to turn this one around, and he'll lack nothing in bravery, his legs are stiff, and he's absorbing punches and giving nothing back. The referee's keeping a close watch at him. I mean, we have weight divisions so that fighters are not asked to give away two stone. This is just... This is it becoming up, painful up, 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 to watch. Heads went in. Body shot, big right hand from Klitschko. If David Hay really is, but possibly heading towards a fight with Vitaly Klitschko, he's getting a fairly graphic display here of what Klitschko is still capable of delivering. Everything Adam Hay brought into the ring has been punched out of him. Don't want to see this one going on too much longer. He's proud. 
20 odd thousand people here to cheer him on, but unfortunately there's not too much to cheer about. This really is painful. If you wanted to be cruel, you could actually score some of these rounds 10-8 because Klitschko is just so dominant. Well, the last one would be a 10-8 because of the knockdown. Because of the knockdown. Because of the count. That would be a 10-8 because of the because of the count. Sidey, doesn't it? The gap is surely now insurmountable. And you wonder whether a compassionate corner here should be thinking about pulling him out. Was Roger Bloodworth trained Andrew Galotta. He trained Pernell Whitaker late in his career. Now with Thomas Adamek. And the seventh round is underway with Adamek and his corner, hoping that he doesn't have to take too much more of that. But you, you sense it's just a matter of time, Jim. And really, when you think about him coming back after after the layoff because of injury, when it looked as though his career was going to be over, has Klitschko lost a round? I can't think of one. Don't think so. Straight at the world level too. Amazing athlete. I think people are beginning to appreciate both of the Klitschkos. We complained about them for a few years because of their awkwardness, their cagey style. Not, they didn't seem to have the warrior heart. But I think most people now appreciate them and will be sorry to see them go. You can see the, when the punches land, you can see shuddering right down to his boots. Every punch hurtful. The jab working. The right hand, uppercuts bringing the, them into play as well. Excellent performance from Klitschko so far. Striving for democracy in his homeland, the Ukraine, and I suspect there's going to come a time when that's going to mean more to Vitaly than boxing. But I don't think that time is quite here yet. Well, it's difficult to consider retirement when, when you're dominating the division. He's not just hanging on to his title, he's dominating opponents. And he's done that again so far tonight. But still not taking any punches from Adamek. Still keeping his mind on the job. And that safety first approach. It was that really only the fourth round when Adamek landed anything of note in the whole fight so far? Yeah, the same quality in Klitschko's punching, just, just little prodding punches at the moment. Maybe just biding his time. Adamek's certainly brave though. Now forced back, that was a quality oh, clipping. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, a slip. He actually tripped over Adam Dick's foot, I think, he, he had tripped over his ankle. Well, the crowd don't believe it, though. They think that was a knockdown. We'll look at that again. Made Klitschko blink a bit, and he sits down on the stool a little bit heavily. And I just wonder where. One. I don't know if he's more embarrassed than anything else. It looked to me like he just tripped you over Adam Eck. We'll see it here now. Well, what happened here? No, nah, he was in the way over. It wasn't a punch land. He just as I thought, he tripped over Adam Eck's leading foot there just as he moved forward. Just a little bit clumsy. There it goes there. Over he goes. Remember Solis in the last defence, though? 80 71 means he's won every round apart from the round the sixth when he got the knockdown scored in his favour, or rather the count scored in his favour when Adamek fell back against the ropes. So at the moment a complete shutout for Klitschko. Interesting to hear what he makes of that when he went down onto the canvas afterwards. Moments of red-faced embarrassment maybe. I mean, this is normally the time in a Vitaly fight, but maybe he's not most of the fight out of an opponent. He puts the pedal down and finishes it. Is he doing that now? Well, I think he had pretty much most of the fight out of Adamek by the end of the sixth. And then he took a bit of a breather. And now you do see that he's applying the foot to the accelerator once more. Right hand from Adamek, just a little reminder. But the pole's been forced to give ground all the time, Jim. And it must be demoralising, he just doesn't see the jab coming, and there's so much power in it. Pea shooter stuff against heavy artillery. Crowd's chanting. 
bouncing again all around the standing up and bellowing that support. Yeah, full credit to Adam Egg. He's giving that go. He's trying to get close. He's trying to get some punches off. But nothing that he tries works. He must be demoralised here. It needs a huge shot to catch Klitschko flush. And never at any stage has been suggestion that Klitschko hasn't got an absolute iron chin. These are big right hands he's been forced to take here. Been dominated once again. Klitschko has put the foot back on the gas again. But he's going to look a tired man when he goes back to that corner. These are hurtful shots. And you have to hand it to Adam Egg. He hasn't done anything to make it easy. He hasn't looked to survive to try to get to the last bell. He's doing everything he can, but nothing's good enough. So although boxing at home can be an advantage, it can also be a bit of a disadvantage. Well, the cam car points in a fight where pride can be damaging and bravery can not do a fighter favours. And you just wonder about Adamak now. Is he taking too much? Into the tenth round. Every round so far to Vitali Klitschko. You know, looking back at heavyweight history, Jim, I, I think probably Lennox Lewis wasn't properly appreciated until his career as heavyweight champion was over. And you mentioned it earlier, alluded to it earlier. I think that's certainly the case very much with Vitali. And with Vladimir, I think, increasingly yeah, as well. I agree with that, and I think it's down to the fact that they haven't always displayed, you know, the, the warrior instincts. Neither of the Klitschkos have shown that. Lennox didn't show that, and unless he really had to do it, he did show it several times in fights. So I think that was maybe one of the reasons they weren't appreciated, but now Lennox certainly is, and I think these guys will be the same. Klitschko was slated, wasn't he, as a choker and a quitter when he stopped against Chris Bird, even though he was way in front on the judges' cards. He had a torn rotator cuff, and he said, I knew exactly how I felt, and had I continued, I'd have been jeopardising my entire career. With these hurtful jabs again, Adam Ek cannot get away from oh, him. He's... Big right hand. Referee should be surely having a closer look at this now. He's on unsteady legs, Adam Ek. There's another big right hand, and another. Where's the referee? Adam Ek's taking too much here. I'm sure this, this should be stopped. Domination, yeah, this is completely dominated here. If he gets to the end of this round, and I don't think he's going to do that, the corner must pull him out. This is just cruel. Well, there's a few cat calls and shouts from the crowd now. I think they want to see this one over as well. Partisan as they may be. Even a jab there, rocking Adamek back onto the ropes. He's taking too much, Jim. I don't like seeing this. His legs have gone. The fight has been knocked out of him. He has nothing left. Get in there, this. Thank heavens. Well, Klitschko celebrates after a fashion, as much as to say, though, that should have been stopped. He knew it. He was just in there doing a good job. Adamek was brave, but the Italian referee let it go on, for me, considerably too long. I think the corner could have put it as possible. John, I don't know, maybe the corner were trying to pull him out a couple of rounds earlier, but Adamek was refusing to come out. We don't know what was on the corner, but we weren't getting very good corner sound tonight. But, uh, I mean, Klitschko, again, showing style when the fight's over. He, he didn't go crazy, he didn't... He knows he's an Adamek uh, neck of the woods. He knows Adamek put up a tremendously brave show, couldn't get himself into the fight really at any time. A little spell in the fourth round, but that was about it. Complete domination, wonderful performance from Klitschko, and congratulations for the courage of Tomas Adamek. Excellent performance from Klitschko. It's a pub debate, it's an internet debate, isn't it? Which of the top fighters in heavyweight history could have dealt with Vitaly Klitschko? You'll all have your own ideas about that. I've got my ideas, but I just know for a fact it would have taken a very, very special fighter to have beaten him in any era. Yep, and you can't blame him at the age of 40, still looking to the future, still saying he wants another two or three fights before he thinks about retirement. He has other ambitions in his life, but even... This, is the, the, this shows the popularity of the man. He's just beaten their hero, he's beaten their hero up, 
the look of the response he's getting from Adam X fans. This, this man really is appreciated now. Well, there's disappointment, of course, from the partisan Polish fans. Adamek gave everything he could, but Vitaly Klitschko pretty much, apart from the fourth round, won just about every minute of the fight. Absolutely dominant. We'll be hearing from him, hopefully, a little bit later on. And he'll be saying, yeah, I've got time left. I saw in the press this week that Fritz Sudanek was saying two fights, three fights, and Klitschko is going to be out of it. Vitaly will have had enough by then. But there's no diminution in the talent, none whatsoever. Yeah, well, uh, as he looks behind him, I don't think there's too much coming up behind that he has to worry about. And he, he's doing it with ease. I mean, he's not even in hard fights. He's just completely taking charge of, of opponents, the best of the heavyweights. So, I mean, maybe eventually he'll just get fed up with the whole thing, think no more challenges out there, I've had enough, and start uh, chasing a political career. Yeah, and, and although uh, Adam Egg had, a, 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 you know, a knockdown counted against them. I mean, you can see he didn't actually go on the floor. He sagged onto the ropes. The referee decided to call it a knockdown, which is fair enough. And look at this, look at this. He's applauding Adamek. I love the sportsmanship of the Klitschko brothers. They are genuinely nice people to be around. Great fighters, yes, but they do it with real class. And here he comes. Let's acknowledge the heart and determination of this two-time world champion, the Polish warrior, Tomasz Adamek. Of round number 10, the winner by TKO victory and still WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Dr. Eisenhower, Vitaly 